So we will continue with the DNA processes, and today we're going to focus on DNA transcription, which is, like I said before, where we turn the DNA into the mRNA. Pretty important process. Let's talk about why. So remember, what is the point of your DNA? Why is it there? It makes you you, but what is it actually doing to make you you? The point of your DNA is actually to make proteins that control the traits of your body. Your DNA are instructions for your cell to be able to make specific proteins that your body needs in order to function. Behind me, in the beautiful Technicolor dream colors, are uh, different proteins all coiled up with all their different levels of structure. Remember about the different levels of structure? Well, they're showing all those levels of structure. You got some beta sheets and some alpha helices and whatnot. So let's look at the roadmap. Remember, you have your DNA, which stays in the nucleus. The proteins are made on the ribosomes, which are outside the nucleus. So you need an intermediary. You need some kind of RNA or something in between there to carry the message of the DNA out to the ribosomes for making a protein. Today we're going to talk about transcription, and that's the process of turning the DNA into that RNA messenger to send for the proteins making ribosomes. The specific RNA here is called mRNA. The M stands for messenger because this is the messenger. It carries the message of the DNA. Make this protein this way. This process, instead of using DNA polymerase like in replication, uses RNA polymerase because we're making RNA this time. The polymer RNA. And again, ACE still means enzyme. After that, the next video will be about translation, which is where we actually make the protein on the ribosome. So here's a picture behind me showing you the process of transcription. We've got your DNA coiled up all around the histones making a delightful chromosome. We need to unravel it. And then just like before, helicase has to drive through there and break that bad boy open so it's actually unwound. Remember, we want to get it one side. Now it's really important when you make your DNA that the left side starts with the TAC. Hopefully that was mirror imaged. I don't know if the video does weirdness that way. We should have had the TAC down the side, and the reason is because that one side of the DNA is the code. The other side of the DNA is pretty much just sitting there being like, Hi, hey, I'm here to make sure we're a double helix. So the coding side is the side that actually gets read, and RNA uh, transcript is made by RNA polymerase. You can see the enzyme of RNA polymerase right here, and it's driving down just like before, driving down, making the RNA. Again, it follows right behind helicase. It goes in the same direction because RNA polymerase is very similar to DNA polymerase, only, you know, it's making RNA, also nucleic acid. And again, we use those same base pairing rules as before, except, as you'll notice in here, instead of using T, instead of using thymine to go with adenine, RNA has this chemical uracil. It's a chemical analog, sort of, and it works out with the uh, ribose sugar. The thymine and the ribose sugar don't seem to get along very well. Uh, not sure why. Google it up for me, children. So let's talk about transcription. We go through transcription and make that big long chain of mRNA, but it's actually divided into different parts. In there, there are introns and exons. Introns are part that will stay in the nucleus that do not actually code for anything in the protein. The exons are parts of that mRNA chain that will actually leave the nucleus and be expressed, and by expressed we mean used to make a protein on the ribosome in translation. Mature mRNA is made of only exons, and that's very important, it's made of only exons. When it's immature, there will be exons, but there will also be introns mixed in there. So the mRNA has to go through this process called splicing, where it goes and cuts out the introns and then splices the exons together into one nice, beautiful chain. That chain of exons gets sent out of the nucleus. So you can see here we've got uh, the DNA, goes through transcription, it's got introns and exons in there. The introns are excised, spliced together, leaves you with just the exons. The exons then leave the nucleus right through one of those nuclear pores like they're shown there, comes out here for translation and protein making. So you should know uh, RNA polymerase, introns, exons, 
three prime, five prime still in effect. That was a pretty quick one, just like the others. Uh, don't forget, if you need a little bit of moodle action, moodly doodle, links in the scroodle. Thanks for watching, everybody.